The heart is certainly an incredible organ, which actually begins beating just four weeks into the gestation period. This beating continues throughout our entire lives, with about 100,000 heartbeats occurring each day, as the driving force behind oxygen and nutrient transportation around the body. In just one day, your heart pumps around 9,000 litres of blood. That's a lot of work. So let's have a look at the cellular architecture of the heart that makes all this possible. It's time to study the histology of the heart. In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at the layers and components of the heart at a microscopic level. So let's see what this resilient organ is really made of. To begin, we'll look at the heart on a larger scale to remind us of the gross anatomy of the heart, and this will include looking at the four chambers of the heart and the four heart valves. We'll then dive into the heart on a microscopic scale and look at its histological features. We'll start with the layers of the heart, including the epicardium, the myocardium, and the endocardium. We'll then look at features we can see related to the conductive system of the heart, as well as its autonomic innovation. Next, we'll look at the valves in more detail and identify the layers that make up those structures. And finally, we'll talk about a clinical scenario that can be studied using histological slides of heart tissue. The heart is a muscular organ that is responsible for the pumping and circulation of the blood around the entire body. It is situated in the mediastinum of the thorax, anterior to the thoracic vertebrae and esophagus, and nestled between the lungs. Anterior to the heart is the sternum. The heart is comprised of four chambers, the right and left atria and the right and left ventricles. Deoxygenated blood first enters the right atrium. From there, blood gets passed into the right ventricle, and when that chamber contracts, blood travels to the lungs to get rid of the carbon dioxide it's carrying and to pick up oxygen. The oxygenated blood then returns to the heart by entering the left atrium. Finally, it moves into the left ventricle, which is the chamber powerful enough to push the oxygen-rich blood into the systemic circulation and it travels throughout the body. There are also four valves associated with the heart, all of which we can see in this image here. In this image, we're looking at the heart from a superior view with the right and left atria removed. Anteriorly, at the top of the screen, is the pulmonary valve, which is situated between the right ventricle and the base of the pulmonary trunk. Posterior to it is the aortic valve, which is found between the left ventricle and the ascending aorta. On the left of the screen and on the left side of the heart is the left atrioventricular valve, also known as the mitral or bicuspid valve, and it's found at the junction between the left atrium and the left ventricle. And finally, on the right is the right atrioventricular valve, also referred to as the tricuspid valve, which is located between the right atrium and the right ventricle, and we'll discuss the heart valves in more detail later on in the tutorial. So we're now going to start transitioning to the histology of the heart, and the images that we'll look at throughout this tutorial will look similar to this one as we identify the various components of the heart as seen on a microscopic scale. And this slide shows us the wall of the left ventricle, as well as the mitral valve, and we'll identify these parts shortly. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.